But anyway, so let's go ahead and dive into the next topic, and we'll stick here for a moment because there's been a lot of conversation about this since our last podcast. Uh, we now want to talk again about netcode and Peaker's Advantage. This is a topic we talked about last time, but we have a little bit more information. Uh, there's been some more details released, things like that. So we're going to bring this up again. Um, so let's start with Peaker's Advantage a little bit. Um, and it does, these are directly related. Peaker's Advantage and Netcode are directly related. Um, yeah. So over the past couple weeks, since the last podcast, we have a great clip of what the net, what the desync really looks like and how it's felt uh, from, yes, from CDU's stream. So I'm going to go ahead and play that on stream and we will talk about what happened. And it's just a great example of, of this, this problem that Tarkov has. Let me go ahead and start rolling now. I've definitely experienced it between this, this uh, podcast and last one too. Like, uh, yeah, it's, I can verify it's, doing it's a thing for sure. We'll touch on it in just a minute. Let me roll the clip uh, and then we'll talk about it. So you can see Sudo here shooting at a man right there. You see right there where the guy pauses. Hold on, I'm going to roll it back. Oh, there, I killed him. You, so the, the situation is here. Sidu is on shoreline fighting a guy near this green truck who's moving from right to left. And the guy, this guy actually came into our chat, so we'll discuss more about that. But essentially all he's trying to do is move to the truck and hide behind the truck. And you can see what happens. As he's running from right to left, Sidu sees him. He's running behind the truck and he gets stuck right there. Sidu gets an easy head tap because he's not even moving. Oh, now, him. let's see where the body was. You saw yeah, where the yeah, shot yeah. happened. Where's his body? Where do you think his body's gonna be? There's his body he's right he's here, behind the truck. Was right there, chat. <laughs> like, right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, so, and this guy came into our chat because he was so confused about what happened. That's what happened from our side. CD just sees him stand still and takes the shot, easy money. That is not at all where CD shot him. So where he died behind the truck is exactly where he was on his screen. He came into our chat and he told us, hey, what happened? I was behind the truck and I literally just died sitting behind the truck. Well, no, on our screen, you were standing in place and we shot you in the head over the side of the truck and then it updated and still even put you behind the truck after you died. Uh, so yeah, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like, guys. You, you've seen it now. Like That is the problem that Tarkov really has when it comes to this netcode and Peaker's Advantage. It, this happens so often. Like when people, what exactly just happened there where the guy froze? When you're trying to peek a doorway or something and you just get, and you like you peek out and then you go back behind cover and you die there, it's because that, what you just saw happened to you because you just got frozen in place. They shot you in the head on their screen and then you died behind the cover on your screen. Like, yeah. Like, this happening in Call of Duty is frustrating. Like, I don't know, you might yell fuck or something and just, like, you know, get on with your life, respawn, and keep going. Uh, but, like, this sort of thing happening in Tarkov when you have your own new on the line, all the shit you worked so hard for, um, it, it hurts differently. Like, instead of saying fuck, like, I go and, I don't know, I've done push ups just out of anger after shit like that. <laughs> like, just something you get my mind off of this game. Um, I love, love the standard thing, most of the things about it, maybe not the um, but like, stuff like that is really, it doesn't, it feels a lot worse in Mark than other games, just mm -hmm. of, like, um, how it can affect you from it, um, Absolutely. that should change, and like, people's advantage type thing, where you're only an angle, and like, you know, they peak you until you meet. They have more time, we talked about that last time, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist in real life. I think the person no. in these, these, these areas... is going to have the advantage, yeah. Yeah, and when the fact that, like, I don't say you would put this guy behind the truck after he died, like, oh yeah, you're right, my bad. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's kind of funny. Yeah. I feel bad. Well, I'll let you talk too, CD, but what I want to say, this clip, like, what it, it literally showed is exactly what I was talking about last time. Um, on your side... Oh, like, okay, on the, his side, the guy that we killed in that clip, and the, he came into our chat and literally told us what he saw. He saw complete movement. He saw him running from right to left behind the truck, never saw anything else, and he just died behind the truck. On our screen, uh, we did not see that. We saw him lagging. 
So the server seems to be waiting for a response from the client. So there's some disconnect between the server and his the other guy that was running behind the cover. There's some disconnect between his client and the server there, um, in my opinion. So instead of lagging on his screen, though, because of the way the netcode is set up, you only lag on the server. Generally, in other FPS games, if you lag, you're seeing it on your screen. But other people maybe just see you like running forward, right? You're not stuck in place. Like the server is just like having you do, like the server controls your position. But in this game, you don't even, you can't even tell you're lagging on your screen. The server is the one that really sees it. And that's why I'm saying I think this game is client authoritative in nature. And I know we got some comments about that last time in the, uh, the last podcast clip that we put out about it. But that's a better explanation of what I was trying to say this whole time is that the server really does see the lag. Everybody else sees it. You don't see it, and it's a big problem when that happens. Um, so since we talked about it last time, though, there has been a lot more conversation about it, and um, so other streamers like Markstrom, One Peg, and Tweak have addressed this. They put out videos about it. Uh, even Nikita has addressed it uh, because of, of the, the talk that was happening since our last podcast. Literally all this has happened. And he addressed it, was basically like, uh, I mean, obviously you could go check out the clip if you guys are interested in seeing exactly what he said, but he was basically like, guys, we are, we're working on it. Uh, you know, they've already, he said that it's already come a long way from where it used to be, and that, of course, that they're still working on it. It's something that they care about. Um, and then one peg's like response to that was like, great, but it's, you know, it's still not, it's still not where it needs to be. Like, like just because, just because you're saying you've made improvements, which is true, and they have made improvements since the old times, doesn't mean it's where it needs to be and that it's good. Um, and so, yeah, Nikita's right. They have made improvements, but they've got a long ways to go. As shown by the clip, uh, it's just it's a problem in an FPS game like this, especially when they mean for this game. If they want to put out EFT Arena and stuff like that, you can't be having issues like this on EFT Arena, you know? And if they're going to fix it for a game like that, Maybe they could translate it over to this game. So we'll continue to see. It's just a really interesting topic. CD, what 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 thoughts do you have? Man, I mean, well, let's take a look at it from the other side. So, like, we just saw a clip of a guy who, uh, you know, PC obviously wasn't having a very good connection with Tarkov servers, right? <clears throat> like, essentially. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, like, let's look at it from the other side. So, like, I want to say it so the scene. It was like four of us. We're doing like a Cuba run on interchange, and like we go in and we're like fighting a guy in holy office, and like you know, here's all this guy's doing, man. He knows he has a really good connection with these servers, dude. And so he'll just he just had like this RFB, and he would just like you know just peek over and over and over, and that's the only way he was fighting. It was like crazy, uh, like you would be shooting shots, like I I you know what I mean? I'd, I'd be swearing like I was hitting him. But apparently, you know, no shots landed. He was just straight, you know, Houdini, like, everything. Because he was just, like, uh, just straight up, uh, like, super of the, of the uh, Peter's of Ant. just crazy. Well, that's what they teach you in boot camp, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just over and over. Dude, and over. I I just, it, was, <laughs> yeah, it was with, uh, like, W and uh, S or whatever, you know, he was, like, moving. Like over here, over there. Yeah, it was it was it like leaning? He was literally stepping out. Yeah. Those were like counting, you know what I mean? Because we weren't moving like he was. Yeah. Um, he, he shoots a shot whenever he comes all the way over here to the corner. Then like he's already gone behind the wall, like right whenever a shot goes off. Like it's crazy. They, I guess Battle State has actually uh, made a fix for that. You know, just not what we want. If had a GL, you would have gotten. Ah. Uh, <laughs> That was their solution, I see. Why write more code when we could just add a metal gun? <laughs> oh my god. I get it I don't know, I just... Um, I'm not hating on Battle State. I obviously love Tarkov. I just think that this is a significant problem. And uh, obviously there's a lot of... There's a lot of uh, like buzz going on around about this topic right now so i definitely thought it was something we should uh, address again we can continue to talk about this guys i at this point guys i might i'm getting to the point where i might even put out a full video about this on youtube about the net code to like better explain what we're what we're experiencing and like basically to catalog what everybody's been talking about when it comes to net code so if you guys want to see that 
Let me know in chat. Let me know in comments. We will get you some more clips about the netcode because you guys really do seem interested in that. Um, yeah, absolutely. Like, no hate in Spell State. Yeah, I mean, for sure. In their game, you know, an unhealthy amount of time today. For sure, for sure. And that just means that you run into more GLs and more keepers like this. So, like, these things that happen, they're frustrating. They don't happen every match, which is good. Dark Ops still real fun. Well, and, and from the programming side of things, this game is, is very... Uh, it has a lot of things that it's trying to accomplish. It's it's lofty. It's a lofty idea. And, and, and netcode and multiplayer programming is one of the hardest things that you can try to do in in um, game development. Like Because there's just so much simultaneously going on that you have to account for. It's really difficult to get right. Um, it's a lot easier. You, don't, you have to account for a lot less in a single player game when it comes to these sort of conditions. Um, it, and so... Maybe they just didn't have the best infrastructure for building the netcode at the beginning when they put the idea into practice. But hopefully they will continue to update it. Uh, they're going to have to change some fundamental parts of the netcode here, I think, to get it to where they want to be. And like I said, because they're doing EFT Arena, I think that does make it more important that they fix this and probably more likely that they will put even more time into fixing it. Because, you, like I said, you can't have these problems in a competitive shooter like that. Like, if this was happening in CSGO, are you kidding me? You know, like, yeah. So hopefully they fix it in Arena and, like, translate it back over to Tarkov or something, but we'll find out. Um, mm -hmm. Offline mode only, yeah. Yeah, just get drop shot by Raiders or constantly, you know, be fun. And scavs. Um, so I think that's what we have to say about Netcode and uh, Peaker's Advantage. For now, we would love to retouch on this topic. It's going to be, some, I mean, it's just always on the mind when it comes to Tarkov until they get this into better, a better place.